Hey, everybody. Welcome to Rector's Reese. I know it's been a while, so I'll give you a couple updates. Um, for one, we'll talk a little bit about the confidior. And um, basically, as we, I know we went into the penitential rite, and I just want to sort of focus on that a little bit more. And if you didn't hear me last week at Mass, just to think about that fact that we come before the Lord, when we come to, to celebrate the liturgy, uh, we come and, and identify as sinners first. We remember that we're called or that we've, we've fallen, that we've had weaknesses and sins and mistakes in our past week or however long it's been. And we're calling to mind that reality, that we're in the presence of the sacred and the holy. And so we're saying to God, you know, we're announcing before each other and before God that we've sinned and what we've done and what we haven't done. And we're asking and begging really for prayers to Our Lady and to the saints and angels and for each other to pray for us to God for His mercy. And what's amazing about this prayer is that we say this, all of us say it, even the priests, which is amazing to me. Um, it's we all no matter who we are no matter like what state in life we are no matter our age whatever we are all ultimately before God equal we are all sinners and we are all beggars in need of his mercy it's a it's a really kind of a neat and special thing so I hope that you'll think about that as you do the confidio we took a break from it this weekend we, we just mentioned the Father's Day um, we'll get back and I think the next step is the Gloria we're gonna go to the Gloria the great hymn that we do every Sunday um, Happy Father's Day to everybody, and uh, be, be show encouragement and call your father, and if your father is no longer here, uh, pray for him, and uh, pray for him especially at Mass for his soul, and pray for your fathers, and thank God for fatherhood, and pray for your spiritual fathers too. Um, a lot of people come to me and say Happy Father's Day. It's a little strange because I don't feel like I'm a father in that way, but um, I guess in some ways I'm a father too, so I, I welcome it. So. We all have our spiritual fathers in our life, so pray for them and, and think of them as well um, on this weekend. A little update on the St. Joseph, thinking of fathers. Uh, it's a little more delayed than I realized. I thought that it would actually be here this weekend and we would have it unveiled on Father's Day. I thought that'd be really neat. Turns out it's just now leaving Spain, so it's going to be a little longer. And uh, we expect to have it here sometime in July. Uh, some of you probably are like, what are you talking about? Don't worry about it. You'll see soon. It's the Father's uh, St. Joseph statue and shrine that's going to be over there on the other side uh, near Our Lady where that is at currently. Um, some other news, we have uh, VBS just completed Vacation Bible School. It went really well. The seminarians were helping out with Paula, so thank you to her for everything she did. It seems like everybody had a great time with that. Um, seminarians are doing really well. If you see them around, say hello. And uh, we had a great procession with them last week for Corpus Christi. Um, I had one other thing. Oh, campus ministry update. So, you know, we've had some changes happening with campus ministry. So some good news that we have is that in the past, we had two TOR Franciscan sisters that served with us. And there were two others living here that served over a good shepherd and helped with youth group. Those two are now going to be working with us as well. So we're going to have four sisters now helping with campus ministry, which is great and exciting. And also we're in the process of interviewing a candidate or several candidates. We have one here visiting right now. You may see him around this weekend. His name is Kevin, so he's uh, we're interviewing him for a second time, and he's kind of interviewing us, so to speak, seeing Tallahassee, and we're hopeful that we'll find a good candidate soon. Um, so we're moving forward with all of that. Hope everyone is doing well. Um, as always, please feel free to reach out, uh, give me a call, shoot me an email or whatever. Um, let me know how you're doing, or comments, questions, anything I can do, or anything we can do to be of assistance. And I think that's all I have. Is there anything else? Nope. Okay, good. All right. God bless you all. Take care and I hope you're having a great summer. God bless.